Hey, I have a, an as seen on TV product for you. This is going to be the, the Jetty Pro. This is the implement that plans to help make your life easier and healthier by helping you create spiral shaped pastas from you know, squashes, zucchini, carrots, cucumbers, potatoes, whole bunch of stuff. It slices them into thick noodles, thin noodles. It makes a whole bunch of interesting stuff. They even show all these like pictures on the side, all the different I don't know, ways you can shoot stuff through it to make your things. And there's the three blades that you're going to get there. And it looks good. I mean, look at the food that they're showing on the front of here. That looks like a good, you know, like zucchini pasta with some marinara. That looks awesome. I'm excited to try this product. I do enjoy vegetable pastas, and I think making my own at home would be amazing. I wouldn't have to rely on those, you know, store-bought pastas that you have to boil. These you can, you know, fry up with some oil. You can boil them. You can cook them a whole bunch of ways. So I think this is going to be a very interesting product to try out. And hopefully it lives up to its expectations. It makes everything seem like you just load up the vegetable after you assemble it. And then you just turn. And there you go. So we're going to unbox. And we are going to go from there, guys. All right. So here's the unboxing. And just to show you in comparison, this is, you know, something we're going to compare against the Vegetti Pro. This is just the standard spiralizer you would find in any store. These are around like two, three bucks. These are normally $14.99. I got mine on clearance for $8, which I thought was pretty decent for something like this. So, pop her open. First thing you get is a recipe guide, which is really nice. I like when they include those. As long as they aren't stupid, but it does have instructions right here. It tells you how to assemble everything, and then it's give you a little, I don't know, marinara sauce. Here's garlic and olive oil. These are pretty basic sauces. I'll have to try some of those, but Let's get back to unboxing this. Got a lot of cardboard in here. Wow. That was easy. Uh, it's already assembled. Um, wow, okay. I didn't think it was going to be that easy. I thought I was going to have to put some parts together. But I guess that maybe that's for when you reassemble it. Pull off the plastic wrap that's on it. The thing to really take off is the little cover right there that's protecting the blade. And then they it looks like they do have a couple you know, like little pieces of plastic wrap on here. That's just to keep the blade from getting hit by anything. Wow, that's it. Okay. And then the other blades are down here in the bottom. They store kind of like little storage cubbies. It's really nice. There we go. I have no idea how to use this thing, so open up the instructions. We're going to read how to use it. No. They give you the three blades. I've got thin spiral on here right now. If you want to change a blade, you can do ribbon cut or you can do a thick spiral. Removing them is pretty easy though. All you have to do to change blades is hit this little release button and it, it slides right up just like that. And then you push in your new blade and then have it down on the counter and clips right in. The only thing you have to know about this is that, you know, if you're cranking on this, it's gonna be moving all the counter. What I didn't realize is they actually give you this little suction mechanism on the back to keep it in place. And all you have to do is push down firmly on the counter wherever you're going to be slicing and then rotate to the on position and look at that that's rock solid i'm really you know rocking on this and it's not going anywhere all right after that you have to get your vegetable insert into the teeth right here and you do have to cut off the end so it has something to grip into and then place it towards this way and then it just starts grinding her up i think that's a pretty decent representation that's almost as big as my hand that's at least four inches right there. We're gonna insert the vegetti, and then all you do is push in until you get those teeth buried in there. You flip to the lock button right here, which will lock everything in place. And then this is a push handle down here, and this is your crank. Now, if the vegetti is doing what it's advertising, all we have to do is turn this handle, and we should start getting pasta. Holy crap, it's working. Look at that, guys. It's actually turning in it, and this is super easy. I'm barely, you know, exerting any pressure. Look at this. That's amazing. It's, it's. I mean, it's making quick work of this. You guys can see I'm barely spending any time on this, and it's just flying through this. I thought if any of the blades would have trouble working as advertised, I thought it might, in fact, be this one right here. And then, of course, it does stop at a certain point. You have this little kind of relief portion, which will keep you from grinding those teeth off, which was another thing I wondered if it was going to do. But look at that. I've got a plate of pasta, and that took seconds. 
I am just amazed at how well that worked. Unlocked. Let's pull that back. Look at that, guys. That is astounding. There's your little core because it has to have something to feed through there. And then you can see where the teeth made its way through there. It made super easy. I'm like shocked at how well that works. Okay guys, I switched to Thick Spiral and then we're going to be going with, instead of Zucchini, this is a Zucchini Squash Yellow. Thick Spiral, we're gonna be seeing if that, you know, affects it at all. I guess maybe Squash might be a little different consistency, so it might be harder. So let's uh, send this one through. Oh my God, guys, look at that. It's flying right through it too. It's just spiraling right off here. Now, I don't like this spiral quite as much. This is much thicker than that other one. But it's still fine. I mean, this would make a good pasta. I wouldn't have any complaints with this. All right, and we're at the end again. And then we unlock and pull back. There it is. Super easy. Switch to ribbon cut blade, and we're going to be trying carrot now. This is something that's a little bit tougher. So we're going to load this into here and then see if we can get a carrot to do a ribbon cut. This one's going to be harder since carrot's a little bit hardier of a, you know, vegetable. This one I can already tell is giving a little bit more trouble. It's not terrible, but you can see how it's kind of getting chipped up in there. It's working. It's just, you know, it's not making the chips that I would want. Carrot's not a great vegetable for this blade. I think carrot might do a little bit better going through like the spiralizers. Okay, so it works, but that's not what I was looking for, so we'll just put that in our pile of pasta to make. Let's get rid of this. Let's switch to our thin spiral. I wonder if that'll work with a carrot since it's a heavier vegetable. Here we go, back to our thin spiral. Lock, and let's go. Ah, as you can see, carrots just, they are not really, you know, working in this thing. Carrots are not a no-go in my opinion. Unless you had some type of like monster carrot, this thing's really pushing back on me. I mean, I'm getting it to go through. It's just, it doesn't seem like this is something it was designed to do. I'm getting more like, you know, torn up salad topping. All right, guys. So how do these compare to a standard spiralizer? Like, you, you know, you found in the store over the years just like this. What are we going to get in comparison to what the Vegetti Pro is giving to us? So I've got my standard spiralizer here. The Vegetti, is it really any better than this spiralizer that you can buy for just a couple bucks at the store? So I'm going to take carrot and put it in here and let's see what we get. That's pretty easy. It's coming out nice and easy. This works a lot better with carrots than the uh, Vegetti does. I can already tell, but that's kind of due to the design. The Vegetti's made for larger vegetables. So I guess if you want carrot type pasta, these long noodly looking things, you're definitely going to want a standard spiralizer. Here's our standard zucchini. Let's see if we can get similar out of this. Oh no, it's, I mean, look at this thing guys. It's just, it's destroying it. It's coming out in weird little chunks and go everywhere. That thing's flying all over the countertop. Okay, yellow zucchini squash. Let's see if this one does better. It's also more tapered, so maybe it'll give us more of a look. There you go, guys, look. It's coming out just like it did out of the Vegetti and with minimal effort. It's kind of an inconsistent shape and color, and I like what came out of the Vegetti better. It just looks better. These ones, they're too thin in some places, too thick in other ones. The spiralizer, yeah, it works on smaller vegetables that the Vegetti's not designed for. Definitely using the Vegetti. I don't like these spiralizers for those type. All right, guys, here you can see a pasta going. So that's all in here. And all I'm doing is cooking with a little olive oil. I just splashed some in the bottom, heat it up with a little garlic in it. And then I'm gonna mix it around until it cooks. And other than that, you know, Sarah's gonna try some with some pasta sauce or maybe pesto. And I'm gonna try mine, I think, with Yoshida sauce to see what Asian style is gonna be like. So. We'll let this cook up and then we'll come back and let you know how it actually tastes. We've got our finished products. On the right, we've got our Asian style. And then on the left, we've got a pesto parmesan version. And we used my favorite, Yoshida's original gourmet stir fry sauce. It's, it's so good, I've loved it. My mother's used that for years. And then we've got Members Mark Pesto. It actually smells really good and it looks really good. It's not thin and watery. It seems to have good texture to it, so. 
Square and I are going to try our respective dishes. Mine's the stir fry, hers is the pesto, and now it looks pretty good. It looks like pasta. It's got nice color to it. Let's try it though. Yeah, I gotta admit, it tastes good. It's It doesn't taste exactly like pasta, but it has good flavor. It tastes like vegetables, mm -hmm. and you can taste the sauce. I, I, I highly enjoy this. I think it's it's really worthwhile. And keep in mind, we didn't put any protein into here. This is just straight, you know, noodles. Uh, or vegetable noodles, I should say. There is no chicken, tofu, or anything in here, and you could easily add that to make this a complete meal. Uh, so you guys saw how zucchini, zucchini squash, and carrots turned out. I thought now I'd try a potato. They do advertise in the front of the box that you can do potatoes through here, and it's going to turn it into either, you know, the thin spiral, the thick spiral, or you can make like a potato chip. So I'm going to try and make some spirals out of these, you know, like a shoestring kind of french fry. See if that works. Let's ride it through and see what we get. Okay, nothing uh, good so far. Oh, there it goes. Hey, so cool. Look at that, guys. It's it's seriously making like a shoestring style french fry. Okay, we're gonna go to our ribbon cutter and if I install it correctly, I kinda wanna see what the ribbon cutter does. Are we gonna get like potato chips or are we just gonna get big, messy, ugly chunks coming out of here? I'm not sure what it's going to do exactly, but I'm excited to find out more. I'm gonna line that up again, insert. Okay, she's locked into place, and let's get going. So it is kind of making potato chips. They're very ugly potato chips. They, they do look like ribbons. But these kind of remind me of like Twisted Chips from uh, Oh Charlie's. That's, that's what it looks like. I'm sure if you went slower and you had maybe a better sized potato for this, you do seem to get more of a chip shape, but... Man, that's really cool. I'm shocked that this worked that well with the uh, potatoes. I thought these might give it troubles. Alright, so for our last vegetable, we're going to try on this for now at least. I've got one Spanish onion. First thought was, can we make onion straws or shoestrings? Kind of like onions, kind of weird like onion pasta that we could fry up or include in dishes. I think that would be interesting. I've never seen anyone do it. I wish this thing was able to move lower so I could get a better grip on it, but I'm just going to have to kind of guess here and then push her together. I mean, it sinks in fine. Okay, and then we lock her into place. Okay, well, feeling it doing something, but it doesn't feel like it's actually getting a cut on it. It's, it's just mangling it. It's turning into like, you know, puree if you can see the top. I'm gonna try, I wasn't gonna do this one, but let's try the thick spiral real quick. Let's see if that might have any better luck with this onion. Okay, we're back in place. Same story, guys. We're just getting like a kind of weirdly chopped, you know, onion mixture. It's just like chunks of onion. So let's try the ribbon cutter and see if we can't, you know, get something out of that. So let's just clamp her in here. I'm going to try and use the new side so we don't influence this. All right. Hey, look at, oh, look at that. Oh my god, that is so nifty. So inadvertently, we've discovered the secret to the onions. You gotta use the ribbon cutter and you get like ribbons of onion. Look at this thing, guys. This is astounding. They're very fine. Look at that, that is crazy. I can't believe this is working. Look at this, guys. It's It looks like, you know, tentacles almost. It's crazy. Now, you're gonna have to batter these and then toss them into a fryer and that's gonna be kind of awkward, but it did what, you know, we wanted it to do. These are the results of after cooking the spiraled potatoes and onions that we had made with our Vegetti Pro. So I'm actually super pleased with this. The potato chips in the back came out nice and crisp. They look like potato chips. The straws though kind of, they came out, you know, in whole pieces, but they're kind of brittle, but they do taste like potato chips. They're not these monstrosities right here. Look at this. This is our onion rings. It's like onion loaves they used to get at Damon's. Look at this, guys. It's just a basket of onions, but that's partly due to the way that I was dropping these in with the batter on them. And the batter I used wasn't the best. I could definitely do better, but they do taste good. They taste like, you know, fried onions. So to show you guys, I'm gonna break off a little chunk right here. There we go. Got a couple right there on the side and we got Square's famous Southwest dipping sauce right here. Man, that's good. Here's a potato chip too. Crisp, 
They taste really good. Now, don't fool yourself. This is not healthy just because you, you know, spiral chopped it yourself. This is terrible for you. This is like eating a blooming onion, basically. All the healthiness we got out uh, by making our own veggie pasta, we're losing with this stuff right here. It's delicious, though. So we'll uh, catch you guys for final thoughts. So. What is the ultimate inclusion on the Vegetti Pro? Is it a good product? Does it do what it is intended to do? I think the Vegetti Pro, as you can see here, it it's a good product. It makes the spiralized pastas, it makes potatoes, zucchini, zucchini squash, it did some onions, it could probably do cucumber, it can do a whole lot of things. I think this is well worth the money, even at $15, that's not too bad for this. It's got good mechanisms, the blades seem like they're very sharp and they cut easily through harder root vegetables. And I don't know durability wise, this is all plastic, if this will last, these teeth might break eventually, but I'm going to give this a nine out of 10. I think Vegetti Pro is excellent, I, especially for people who are vegan, vegetarian. This makes a lot of sense, and even for people like me who just occasionally enjoy some veggie pasta or some potato chips. I can't recommend this enough, guys. I think you should go and get yourself one. So uh, that's going to do it for this As Seen on TV review. We will catch you next time. Have a great day.